the Suburban Chateau. Today we will be starting our first bedroom renovation in our empty nester whole house renovation. And this will be um, the room that's gonna be my closet. And I'm really excited to share with you some of the preliminary um, activities. We're getting ready to sort of get this closet shaped up. School starts for me next week, so I wanna make sure that I have a place so I can retrieve my clothing and access it. Um, this room we were gonna we're gonna be finishing before we get our carpet. The carpet's gonna be coming later in the fall, so we might have to empty things out to facilitate that. But the color combination and all of those things are going to be um, considered when we have our our carpet installed. I hope you enjoy. So essentially, I've cleared any clutter from the floor. We had some bed linens here and I gave it a good sweep. I'm gonna get the corners a little bit more. And then I think the next thing I might do is uh, give it a good scrub with the rug scrubber. We are planning to place this carpet, but it might be a little while, so I'd like it to be as clean as possible. And um, it's, it's, still, it's still a good rug. I think that's one of my issues is that this rug is in really good shape, so it's hard to wanna to replace it. I know it's an outdated color and I know it's from the 90s and I got to get with it and get more hip. <laughs> but um, here is the next step of this journey. So I'm going to work a little bit on the rug and then I'm going to paint this feature wall. Now, I'm also planning to hit the ceiling with ceiling paint. It's just, it's, I don't think it was ever painted over the plaster, which is something that I think people did when they were building these homes. And you can just tell that dirt is kind of in the corner. That's, I think that's dirt. I don't know what that is, but um, I'm gonna give it, um, maybe I'll give it a good clean and then I'm gonna, we're gonna paint the ceiling so that it's a nice bright white color. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is just go pick out that feature wall color. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, one of the fabrics that I've selected for this room, and this is kind of, again, gonna affect all the color selections, is this is called the Antique Chic Quilt Fabric. And if you've ever seen, it's on, um, I found it on Amazon, but on some of the overstock different places, um, you can get um, the Antique Chic print. And I just loved it because I love roses and flowers. If you guys have watched my other videos, you know that. And I thought it was a lovely mixture of different types of florals. And something about the color combination, probably that cranberry, which is, I really like. I really am enjoying, there is a blue color in that cranberry. Let's see if I can point to it. Right in here. And I think that would be an awesome color. And I think I've identified that color at my local Home Depot. And I think it's called Thundercloud. And I am thinking of that color as a jump off point. And we are thinking of a grayish, bluish carpet. So I think Thundercloud is going to be the color that I come back with when I come back from Home Depot. Um, but my intention is to use, I'm gonna put, this is actually, was intended to be a little valence, but I'm gonna use it right there in my closet to kind of shield some of my clothes or dust cover some of my clothes. On the other section of my closet, I am going to use two shower curtains with the Antique Chic um, quilt fabric, and they are going to hang here in front of my clothes. So a lot of my clothes will actually be covered or protected, um, and just like, so you don't see all the mess in all the clothes at once. So there will be two shower curtains here, um, side by side, and I just get normal shower curtain hooks, and uh, it just sort of protects your clothes and also hides the mess. <laughs> Now I'm thinking that this small dresser will fit so sweetly right in this little position um, up against the feature wall. And my intention for this dresser will be makeup, any extra makeup. I have quite a lot of makeup and so I'd like to have a couple drawers dedicated to that um, and jewelry. So it's going to be sort of a jewelry makeup armoire and like, almost like an overspill um, from the... Um, the vanity, sorry, <laughs> that's gonna be on this wall. Um, but it, it doesn't have, the vanity doesn't have a ton of storage space, so I'm thinking this will be a great little overspill area um, for that. 
Now this next thing is just a personal note. My oldest daughter painted her room years back, that light gray color that it is right now. And she did not paint inside the closet. And believe it or not, what you're looking at right there is the original Builder's White. And I had, when we first moved in, I was so into stenciling. And I had stenciled this sweet pattern all the way around the room. And I'm going to leave this part unpainted just for nostalgia, just to remember what it looked like. And then I'm going to show you a real cute thing, too, I noticed when I came over here to the one side. You can see the other, other colors this room has been painted. So it was a pink at one point, and it was a lime green at one point, and then Sarah painted it the gray. So it's some of those little quirky things I'm going to leave just as a point of family history. I'll have to admit, I'm pretty excited about painting this room. There's a little bit of an echo you can hear. The room is absolutely, completely clear. And I can't think of a time when I've painted any room in this house that I've actually had nothing in the room and no bed to work around or no big dressers to, to be uh, fighting with. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is cut in the ceiling and then, um, then we'll roll the ceiling I want to put down a good drop cloth in this room so we do cover, even though I am getting new carpet, I'm trying to la make this one last as long as possible. Um, in a, and then the next thing after the ceiling will be the feature wall um, here with the window. And I've taped everything off. So the one thing I'm going to do right before I start working on the ceiling so it has time to dry is I'm going to take, there's a couple screws left in this wall that need a good spackle and uh, they need taken out and so we'll get those first and then uh, we'll lay out the drop cloth. We'll fill these guys up with spackling and when they're all dry, sand them down. I just wanted to get this started so I could work on the ceiling and then come back to this when we get to the feature wall. And all it's gonna take is a little bit of sanding to make sure that these holes are all filled in and nice and flat. We'll wait for that to dry. It's a nice spackling. It turns white when it's dry. And then we'll give that guy a sand. And we should be ready to paint on this wall. Well, on the whole, I'm very pleased with how the ceiling turned out. It took a little doing, um, but now that I've done this one, I feel super confident about the next door room. These textured ceilings, I wouldn't have picked that. Personally, when we were building the house, it was already done. So um, uh, that is just, you just have to use a little heavier nap on the roller cover to make that work. And then just really get in all the nooks and crannies um, along the edges. So I'm happy. Uh, the next thing is this feature wall, and uh, I need a little sanding on those couple of uh, nail holes. 
and then that wall gets done. And then obviously just some touch up around the top with the, um, the gray color that we already have. So just a little bit of touch up. I saw some scuffy marks. I don't know if you can see them on the video, but uh, just needs a couple little touch up spots up on this top. It was just easier for me to come down through on the uh, white color. So I'm pleased. And now for the feature wall, the big feature. <laughs> Um, and I have about an hour and a half before bedtime. So I think I'm gonna try to get this all done tonight. Um, and then I'm gonna go around with the light gray and touch up any spots that I hit accidentally with the ceiling paint. And then the fun begins. Not the painting isn't fun, but the real fun of putting this all together. I'll be pretty excited about that. Okay, it's day two of getting all the painting done. So far, we've painted the ceiling and it looks so much fresher and cleaner and I'm thrilled with how it looks. I've got a little bit of touch up work to do on the light gray color, but that's gonna be the last thing I do. I did my cutting in on uh, the darker blue color and uh, this is Thundercloud. I'll put it up here so you can see what that looks like. It's a bear color. Um, and I'm thrilled with it. I literally walked through Home Depot several weeks ago and I was getting, doing a completely different project. And I just saw that color. I knew that was the right color. I grabbed the swatch. When I went back, I really looked quickly. My eyes were drawn immediately to that color and I knew it was right. So what I was looking for was a bluish grayish that would go along with the blue. Um, but would also match, if you saw um, our jump off point, that little blue in the antique chic uh, quilty fabric that I have. So I know that it's gonna match that, it's gonna look really good. This shouldn't take too much time because now we're just down to the rolling. So uh, here we go, little time lapse. So here is our completely prepped room. The carpet's been scrubbed and cleaned. The feature wall is beautiful. The ceiling is clean and it just gives new life into the whole room. I did go around to the tops of the platinum ring color or the light gray and I just touched things up, especially where the ceiling paint met the walls. So all of that prep paid off. And I think it's just a great base for what's to come. 
So in our next video, we're going to be loading in furniture, loading in a beautiful mirror, loading in some of the clothes, jewelry, makeup, all of those things, and really prepping this room to be a functional dressing space. Thank you.